Hi, welcome to Deep Thoughts with Dana. This is Dana. This is your monthly tarot card reading for the sign of Libra for the month of April 2019. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. I have a $50 YouTube special that includes a video link of the entire reading. Enjoy the video. Namaste. The first card, I'm sorry, the card on the bottom of the deck is the Three of Wands, right? This card is about preparing, preparation, preparing. And you also open this reading with the Three of Wands, preparing, because once there, once where there was, where there was once conflict and loss and despair and regret, there is now justice with the Justice card, okay? Five of Wands, conflict, Five of Cups despair right by the way the number five stands for instability right conflict loss but it also stands for an opportunity for change a new cycle expansion right so that makes sense you have double fives here the five of wands and the five of cups so you are preparing because where there was once conflict and despair and disappointment there is now justice with the justice card where there was once indecision with the Two of Swords, there is now decision with the King of Swords. The Chariot card says that you are going to take forward motion, right? You are going to take action in this situation based on this decision and this justice, right? Two of Swords comes in and says that you have dealt with blocked emotions, right? Because remember, we had the Two of Swords up here, and the Two of Swords up here is decision. This Two of Swords is about dealing with blocked emotions in regards to who it is that you really, really, really want to give and receive with on a daily basis. Eight of Wands says that you want to take action. You want movement, speed, Swift change, right? You're going to take action. The second action card, we have the chariot as an action card and the eight of wands as an action card, right? You want to take action because you have dealt with everything and made a decision. This action creates the death card, right? This is an ending, a change, a transformation of your relationship into the ace of pentacles, the seedling, the brand new start of, of an opportunity, a prosperous opportunity, you know, whether it be financial or, um, you know, security wise or emotional, but whatever, you have a brand new, <laughs> a brand new opportunity, right? To commit with the Hierophant in a love relationship with the lover's card. Temperance comes on top, and you see this as, as being worth doing. You see this as, as purpose. Where there once was confusion with the Seven of Cups, there is now emotional balance and control with the King of Cups, also indicating that this is love-related as well, being a water sign. The alchemist comes in and says that you are about to take some inspired action. You're about to take some inspired action. You sit down with the high priestess for just a minute. Sit down with the high priestess. Check yourself, right? Check yourself. Check your gut. Check your head. Check it all. And, and, and okay it with source, right? Five of Cups. This Five of Cups is about where there was once conflict. Now there is an increased focus on goals, right? Which means that you've checked it with the High Priestess and it's a green light. It's a go ahead. You're going to focus on it. It's going to be a goal of yours, okay? So hard not to say the zodiac sign in these readings. Oh my God, okay. So an increased focus on goals with the Five of Swords coming in. This Five of Swords, again, fives. Oh my God, two more fives. Fives up there. Oh my God, it's the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups. And this is the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, um, which is just like double reiteration of whatever this message is, right? Confirmation. Um, remember the fives, the fives are about instability, conflict, right? But they're also about opportunity for new change, a new cycle, expansion, right? So you sit down with the high priestess, the five of cups comes in and talks about, um, 
talks about um, where there was loss and regret. Now there is going to be forgiveness and acceptance of the of forgiveness right that's what this justice card up here is remember once there was conflict once where there was conflict and disappointment there's now justice once where there was indecision there was a decision right so anyway you have you're making the decision to chuck all that away and turn that negativity into positivity the nine of wands comes in and talks about courage courage it takes courage to forgive bullshit. You know, five of swords and five of cups. Somebody hurts you. It takes courage to forgive that. But you know what? I um, almost said your sign. You know what, you guys? Um, you know what, you guys? Um, it takes... Um, people, people fuck up for a lot of different reasons. They just really do. They do. They make mistakes and, you know, to have, to be able to forgive somebody for conflict and despair that they've caused you or heartbreak or whatever. Now, if somebody's just a, a, de a devil, you know, just pss, screw that. But, you know, when somebody's really trying to come, when somebody realizes that they really did make a mistake, forgiveness is a good thing. Anyway, sorry, soapbox. You get courage, right? Now you have courage to move forward in the energy of the Prince of Swords to take action. You have three action cards. Action, action, action. Take action, right? Going to transition into the power of the King of Pentacles. Being secure, having control, feeling powerful and abundant. Feeling like the King of Wands, the cockiness, right? I mean, look at this guy. He's all cocky up in his head, cocky, just like he knows he's the shit, right? Boom. Energy of the King of Pentacles, the attitude of the King of Wands with the energy of the Prince of Pentacles. Slow, steady, stable, moving forward to achieve your goal. The Princess of Wands says you're going to put forward some passionate messages about a decision that you made with the Judgment card that will strengthen the relationship and bring about an energy of the Ten of Pentacles, to bring about a feeling of wealth and establishment and family, right? Ten of Swords in Reverse says you're going to regenerate this relationship. The moon card says again, you've dealt with blocked emotions in regards to a love situation. You have a sense of self-sufficiency now, a sense of self-sufficiency in that you have the courage and the strength to go forward. You've dealt with it all and you're forgiving and you're accepting and you have the courage and the strength to go forward and create abundance. The card of Taurus, just want to point that out and create abundance. This is the card of Taurus too, actually. None, that doesn't matter though. doesn't matter. Um, to create abundance, right? With the princess of cups, going to share your feels with somebody, a messenger of a creative new beginning. And the outcome is blissful with the sun card. Absolutely blissful. Positivity, success, and vitality. If you enjoyed this reading today, feel free to drop a comment in the box below and let me know how it um, resonated with you and what's going on in your life. I read every single comment that you guys leave and I do reply to them as well. And um, share this video with whomever you think it may help, okay? Thank you so much and namaste.